the film does as well as the audience wants it to do or as well as Avijit's fans wants it to yeah. do. So obviously the sequel would be on the way. See there the fans are very loyal. A Ajit fan remains a loyal Ajit fan. Hmm. A Rajni fan remains a loyal Rajni fan. He may like Ajit's film. Hmm. He may like Vijay's film. A Vijay's fan remains a loyal Vijay fan. Hmm. He may like appreciate Ajit's film. Yeah. But such loyalty of the fans is not seen across the heartland of India. India. This film which my father had made, Shahzada with Rajesh Khanna, there, there was a premiere in Calcutta. There was so much crowd outside the hotel that he could not step out. Oh. Flacks of people. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened even where Amitabh is concerned. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the same thing happening where Salman is concerned. So whenever Ajit come to my house in Chennai, mm -hmm. there is a crowd outside. So that's the reason he wears a topi. He comes in a very, very ordinary car and yeah. the car comes right inside the house so that nobody outside knows that no, he's come. Yeah. So there are many such surprises in the film. And our film will not have just football, football, football. Hmm. It is got a lot of emotions with the players, the family, the husband, the wife, the children. Yeah. A lot of elements. Yeah. Salman has spoken, so he's better. Yeah. He's the best person to talk to. Hi guys, this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us the showman, Puni Kapoor sir with us. Welcome to Pink Villa sir, it's lovely having you here. And congratulations on Wali Mai. The response so far has been... Outstanding. <laughs> well, let's hope it remains outstanding even post-release. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, sir, my first question to you is, you know, Walimai has been in making for so long and it has been anticipated all across. Like, we have seen people asking Walimai update globally. Now that the film is finally up for release, what do you have to share about the world of the film? First of all, let me correct you, it's not going on for so long. We started the shooting of the film hmm. in October 2019. And as you know, from March onwards, the whole world came to a standstill. Yeah. So obviously we had to stop shooting. Hmm. We had done about 30-40% of the film, stopped shooting. Then there was an opening, we resumed shooting again. Thanks to my crew, my hero Ajit, my director who were motivated to start shooting as soon as the situation became nearly almost normal. When yeah. they opened up, you know, the different uh, protocols that the government uh, had in, uh, imposed upon people in different states yeah. they were being relaxed and when they were getting relaxed so we sort of got an opening film shooting the allowed so we started resume the shooting yeah. again ajit led the entire crew in a manner that okay, let's start shooting because there were people who were skeptical ke dobara ho sakta hai pura 100% to gaya nahi hai but he was there and so was the director vinod yeah. and his team so i mean we started shooting again. Again, the second, second wave take came, came in. Yeah. And since this is a film which has a huge canvas, it has a lot of a lot of characters, a huge canvas, and a good amount of action, and elaborate action, hmm. which needed you know enough number of days. So obviously, we had to wait patiently for the second wave to go, yeah. then start again. restart again. Yeah. And the director had conceptualized a particular sequence to be shot with the you know stuntmen from uh, overseas mm -hmm. first we thought we'll get them here then we thought no we'll go there with the covid situation we were you know planning maybe spain maybe france yeah. there were many countries many options which came up yeah. finally we shot in russia and we matched russia to tamil Nadu. okay and uh, everything went on well of course the period has uh, stretched hmm. from a year from the start to finish it probably has stretched to about two years more, little more than two years yeah. and even after the film was announced for release after it is complete the film is lying complete since november yeah we announced the pongal date and but then the third wave uh, yeah the came third wave or the omicron which came up yeah. again the restrictions were in place we had to respect the government mm -hmm. we had to respect the system mm -hmm. so we held back our release mind you the film was you know, censored too. Yeah. Good. But we had to hold back, hold back. Mm. So these are the challenges we faced and not just me, I think the whole world has faced. And so what do you have to say about the world of Wali Mai? Like what can the fans expect in terms of the premise of the film? The premise of the film cannot be described in one line. Mm. It's a wholesome entertainer. It's a family, the sub subject has enough for everybody. It has got family emotions, it has got brother's emotion, it has got friendship's emotion. Hmm. It has a lot of action. Hmm. It has good versus evil. It has the hero working towards cleansing of the 
evil in the our system, yeah. the society. So it has all those things, all those elements which make commercial cinema more interesting. Correct. And so you know, since the trailer has come out, another chatter which which has been going on in the industry is the possibility of turning it into a franchise because he's playing a cop, and there's so much action in there and these. Ideas. These subjects often have the potential of being into a franchisee. Have you thought on those fronts already? We've not thought of it. We never thought of it. Hmm. But of late, since you've read it in in, in various uh, yeah. uh, platforms or various media, yeah. this has been coming up. Thought has reached my mind, hmm. and I'm sure it has reached the mind of the director too. Hmm. So let's hope the film does as well as the audience wants it to do or as well as Ajit's fans wants it to yeah. do. So obviously the sequel would be on the way. How would you describe your bond with Ajit Kumar? You have done a film with him, this is your second and there is a third one already in the pipeline. So. Maybe there could be a fourth one too. We get along very well. Yeah. He is a fantastic actor, a professional to the core, very dedicated, very focused, very sincere. Yeah. And we have, I mean I respect him, he respects me, there is a good bond. So it's always comfortable working with a person who knows you and whom you know well <laughs> and the relationship is growing. Yeah. So we've had a good journey so far and I'm sure the journey ahead will remain, will even get better. And so you know I remember in 2019 you had gone to Chennai to watch Vishwasam and you know to see the frenzy. What are your plans for Valimai like since it's your own film, what like how do you plan to watch it? I'm sure you have seen it already but. Well I plan to watch it in Chennai first, you know in Chennai films of uh, Ajit and a couple of other stars, they, the fans want to see the film as soon as the, before the week is over. A couple of actors whose films probably release in, in Thursday, yeah. before Friday. And that too, some of them release at 1 in the morning, some of them release at 4 in the morning, some of them. Will, so, <clears throat> I'm hoping the same kind of frenzy is there, the same kind of demand is there from the fans. And we don't have any such restrictions from the authorities. Hmm. So we also would probably follow the set pattern of these couple of, you know, Ajit, Vijay, Raj, you know, these superstars yeah. from South, yeah. their films and down in uh, Andhra too, the Telugu yeah. film industry also. So is the case in Kannada and Punjab industry. Yes. See, there the fans are very loyal. Yeah. Uh, Ajit fan remains a loyal Ajit fan. Hmm. A Rajni fan remains a loyal Rajni fan. Yeah. He may like Ajit's film. He may like Vijay's film. A Vijay's fan remains a loyal Vijay fan. He may like, appreciate Ajit's film. Yeah. But such loyalty of the fans is not seen across the heartland of India. India. True. Here in heartland, they, their loyalties shift. Yeah, it's film to film basis. Acha film hai to dekhenge. Ah, nee, acha ke alawa bhi matlab you see, they can be fans of three four actors together. And this transition has happened, especially in the last. Five to six years because before that we still saw the, the loyal fandom for the stars from 90s or maybe even say till the Hrithik Roshan. After that it has shifted if we look at it. No, I think this kind of fan following was South has now. Yeah. The last person to have this kind of following was, it reached its peak with Rajesh Khanna, mm -hmm. but the last to have such this kind of fan following was Amitabh Bachchan. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rajesh Khanna, you know, I've done a, we've worked with Rajesh Khanna, we, I've worked with Amitabh Bachchan also, I've worked with Salman Khan also. Hmm. But the kind of frenzy I've seen with Rajesh Khanna, yeah. whenever he used to come to our house, I remember uh, for this film which my father had made, Shahzada with Rajesh Khanna, there, there was a premiere in Calcutta. Hmm. There was so much crowd outside, outside the hotel that he could not step out. Oh. Look, lakhs of people. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened even where Amitabh is concerned mm -hmm. and I have seen the same thing happening where Salman is concerned. Mm -hmm. For wanted for one of the events, we were in Calcutta to and to attend a, uh, a event at the football stadium. Okay. We reached the football stadium but then police had to request us to leave. Oh. Because you know people who were inside yeah. were just to the capacity but people outside were 10 times more than what the capacity was <laughs> inside. So okay. we could not even, you know, go through the entire event. Okay. We were made to leave. Oh. So, you know, Salman also has that kind of uh, loyal fans. Hmm. Shah Rukh also has got loyal, loyal fans. Amir also has loyal. But the frenzy hmm. of Rajesh Khanna, yeah. the frenzy of, you know, even before Rajesh Khanna, 
I didn't witness that, but I witnessed Rajesh Khanna's frenzy. Mm-hmm. Likewise, I witnessed Bhagya Raja's frenzy. Okay. When he used to come to my house in Chambur, I don't know how the South Indian community used to get to know that he's come and the entire, you know, you could see a sea of all South Indian fans of Bhagya Raja <laughs> waiting to have a glimpse of this. Oh, wow. And you see, today, whenever Ajit has come to my house in Chennai, there is a crowd outside, so that's the reason he wears a topi. He comes in a very, very ordinary car, and the yeah. car comes right inside the house, so that nobody outside knows that no, he's coming. Yeah. But according to you, now that you have done two films with him, you are doing more. What is it that you know has resulted in that connect with the audience for Ajit? Because he doesn't even believe in promotions, nothing. He he does his work, and that's it. That's all. That's how. We you answered yourself. He does his work. Okay. So his work speaks for him. Mm. And so is the case with Vijay. I mean, he's also got this falling, not because he interacts with the media. Yeah. It is for his work. Work. True. So is the case. I mean, so many other stars there. Mm. Down south, you see, you have Kamlas and you've got so many other stars. Yeah. yeah. So it is basically their work and the, their fans who are in love with their work. Mm. And that's the reason they always want to reach out to them. They always want to see them in, in person. Feel them, touch them. <laughs> yeah, we have seen so many videos yeah. as well. Yeah, very few times do we see that you know before the release of one film, you announce a third one, a, another film with the same combo. Mm. We have done that over here after Wali Mein. There's another film with Ajit and Vinod that rolls from March 9th. You know, there has so much been written about that film in terms of Ajit's character. It 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 is expected to you know portray him like never before in a negative shade, a grey shade. What do you have to say about you, that? You you know more than me. That that's what is reported in the media by <laughs> even I wrote about it. I wouldn't deny, but yeah. Well, I rather keep quiet <laughs> and hope that the curiosity remains. And what do you have to say about this combo of Ajit and Vinod and getting third time, like getting together for the third time? Well, I'm I feel I'm blessed that I have the combo of Ajit and Vinod working for me for the third time on the trot. Short span of time. Okay. And so you know you have uh, another big film which is releasing in summer. That's Maidan with Ajay Devgan. It's one of the most anticipated film about a chapter from history that no one is aware about. How excited are you for that film? Like because everyone that I have been speaking to in the trade have phenomenal things to say about the film in terms of the content, uh, the trivia's and everything. So, well, I'm as excited as you are. And. I have seen about, seen 70-80% of the film. Yeah. In fact, I have seen the film without the, the soul of the film, which is the matches. Okay. Because we shot the matches now. Yeah. It still held my attention. Yeah. And I feel this is going to be a landmark film in Ajay Devgan's career. His best work, his best performance. Wow. And Amit Sharma has really excelled today from a director who made Tevar, then he made Badayo. This is a different ball game altogether. True, it's like shifting genre, basically yeah. shifting gears completely. And the good thing about this is that nobody, the today's generation, doesn't know what in Indian football team had achieved. In fact, in Melbourne Olympics, India lost at the semi-finals by a self goal. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Even yeah. I. Yeah. Well, so there are many such surprises in the film, and our film will not have just football, football, football. Hmm. It is got a lot of. Emotions with the players, the family, the husband, the wife, the children. Yeah. A lot of elements in the yeah. film. Basically a complete package. That's that's what films should always be in, in even in the sports space. So yeah. And you team up with Janvi for the first time on Millie. I think that film is also ready for release. So what are the plans? No, it is ready, don't think it is. Yeah, it is ready for release. So what are the plans like for Millie? Millie probably end of April, May I'll release the film. Then I have got uh, Article 15 Tamil version with Uday Nidhi style and Ninji yeah. And I've got Wheatley Vishesham. Though those two films are also ready. Okay. In fact, those one teaser has been released. Just two days, three days back. Three days back. Uh, and the other one would be released post Bali my release. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be a jam-packed five months for you as a producer. With yeah, I want not just five months. I want to remain jam-packed till the time I, I live. I'm sure. I don't want to be distracted by anything. I just want to keep on working. So, what are your plans like for the for the year apart from the five films that are lined up? 
what what's starting and what are the plans as a producer well, you just spoke about the six film that i'm starting with ajit yes next film yeah. likewise i have i'm working on two scripts with arjun one is komali yeah. that uh, i am doing it with uh, love ranjan yeah. we both will be uh, doing the film together he's working on the script yeah. then i have got f2 which anil bazmi is he is reworking with the writer yeah. the second half of the film f2 was a hugely successful film yes. in telugu the first half is brilliant second half what i heard uh, just a week back was shaping up very very well okay so these two scripts are there plus i've got a couple of other films you know there are lots of things lined up for the next few years okay and lot of excitement because you know there is there is also a chatter about no entry would you want to comment on on that as to salman has spoken to is better yeah. he's the best person to talk to yeah but like he has confirmed which has got in so much eyeball because no entry is a classic in the comic space so so i am keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> we hope we get to see it soon i am hoping to yes and uh, so last couple of questions uh, what do you have to say about the release of walimai in hindi in terms of the screen count and what are the plans to get to you know reach out to the masses see in a short span whatever best we can do we'll do <laughs> then it's the merit of the film <laughs> So let's see. As I told you, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yeah. We've not till yesterday. We know the screen count was about 800. Okay. It could go up to 1,000. Hmm. And so you know, you are also making our acting debut with Love Ranjan Ranbir Kapoor's film, which is yet to get a title. How exciting is it to make an acting debut now? And it's fun. I never thought I would get into this. Somehow, my kids forced me. Love Ranjan came up to me and he said, "I, I want you to work in my film as Ranbir's father." And we've written this keeping your personality your persona in mind it was very flattering <laughs> i mean he flattered me whether he meant it or not but i know but i was flattered but at the same time i was not too sure whether i'll do it or not okay i heard him out i said then I, next day i went up to his office i said nahi yaar main nahi karunga <laughs> i've got too many things happening and for me to find time to come there kyunki first schedule usne kaha tha 25 30 din ka hai yeah. maine kaha for me to be out for 20 by 30 days is impossible <laughs> i've i've got work in chennai i've got work in hyderabad i've work in bombay but yeah. so i'll make it easy for you we are there for 50 days i'll spread your work and you can take uh, a few days off here and there so he promised me three breaks in those 20, 40 50 days yeah. for my work of 30 days or whatever it was and then two i was not too sure then my kids got along they said dad you must do it sanjay my brother said boni definitely kar <laughs> okay so my family pushed me into it i'm glad i'm doing it because i'm working with a very good unit yes love, love ranjan i call him mini asif he's a fantastic director isse pehle it used to be my job to see that everything is right on set everybody is happy everybody is satisfied everything is taken care mm-hmm. this time around i was watching and i was being taken care of <laughs> so it was good to be on the other side <laughs> and the unit is a happy unit sab log haste khelte rehte hain yeah. Ranbir is a fantastic actor. Dimple is a fantastic co-star. Shraddha is, I mean, the the entire team. There are some newcomers also. There's a lady who plays my mother. She's full of life and and a fine actor. There's a kid who's a fine actor. Then there's a girl who's playing my daughter. She, it's her first film too. I mean, we have a bunch of fine actors. The only question mark is Boni Kapoor. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's no, hope I come. You're being modest over here. I'm sure. Let's hope I come across. <laughs> decently and any last words on valimai before you sign off for yeah. ajit fans and everyone well, last words you will have to communicate to the fans of ajit because i'm talking to you and you know how i feel about ajit and you know how i feel about the film of course i am looking forward and i'm absolutely ecstatic with the result so far what i've seen in my opinion it's a kick ass film i'm sure audience would feel the same when they watch it on i hope to yeah. i hope to next week basically i hope yes. to no next few days yes Feb 24 so yeah perfect sir thank you so much it's always lovely talking to you and wish you all the best for valimai thank you if you like this video subscribe to pink villa